After Victoria started the treatment, she changed a lot. First of all, no more aggression or violence, in the, and she is always happy. The second thing is the improvement of her speech and language. Because Victoria didn't want ABA therapy, we stopped ABA one and a half years ago. And because Victoria had a speech therapy in the ABA clinic, we had to find a new speech clinic after we left the ABA center. Fortunately, we found a very nice speech clinic. The speech clinic used totally, totally different methodology from traditional speech therapy. Their method is called S2C, which means spell to communicate. They teach autistic people spelling with a letter board and number board for communication. And this is her number board. I want ice cream, like I, C, E, C, R, E, A, M. She used this AAC device just to click the picture. Now she used letter board. She just coined the letter. This is a very new methodology in speech and language pathology. It is getting popular in the US and South Africa and some English speaking countries. After they are fluent with the letter ball, they can type to communicate. I heard it usually takes at least a few years to be fluent with the letter ball, but Victoria learned spelling very fast and she became fluent in 10 months. And now she types to communicate. So now Victoria can talk about her wants and needs verbally. However, when she needs to express her thought, opinions, or her comprehension, or understanding, or WH questions, or talking about her feelings, emotions, she spells with the letter board or she types. Before she used the spelling, because she couldn't express her mind, she used to show a lot of negative behaviors. However, after she can communicate with the people through spelling, most of her negative behaviors were gone. The most challenging part of spelling and typing is connecting between brain and body. Many autistic people say, my body doesn't listen to my brain. That means they mean to point letter A, but their finger points letter E. That means their body is out of control. Also, our kids act funny, but they don't mean to do it. But their bodies are out of control. So I learned from Victoria, coordination between body and brain is one of the most challenging part for people with autism. And spelling can be a good solution for that problem. For Victoria, of course, it was hard to control her body, but because she was under the Dr. Thomas treatment, her coordination between body and brain was much better than other spellers. We call a person who spells to communicate speller. That was why Victoria was able to master spelling in only 10 months. It usually takes a few years for autistic people. This is one of the episodes related to her spelling. Last year, one day, Victoria took off her t-shirt in her classroom. Victoria used to have a stripping behavior. After school, she went to the speed therapy. And I told her speech therapist what happened at school that day. Also, Victoria wanted to say something to her speech therapist about the accident. The following is the conversation between Victoria and her speech therapist through spelling. What do you want to say? And Victoria spelled, I was mad at Hodge. Ms. Hodge is her school teacher. My reading was too easy and she saw me do more here. I took off because it is so boring doing the same thing over again. What would be a good solution? And Victoria spelled, normally I would explain, but no one asked. What could the school do to make you feel more supported? And Victoria spelled, no talker. The talker is the this one. It doesn't help me explain. 
School isn't teaching me new things. I don't want to go. Where? And Victoria spelled school. I am sorry to Tay. Tay is me, her mom. I was wrong. I want harder work. These are the conversation with Victoria and her speed therapist. Since she used spelling, we have been able to know her mind and thought. Also, I found out my daughter was not retarded. She had no intellectual disability because she could not express her mind and thought. She felt frustrated and that triggered her negative behavior. She knew and understood everything, but she couldn't show what she knew and what she needed. Later, I learned that she always had a reason why she showed the bad behavior or why she acted inappropriately in the past. I felt very sorry to my daughter.